I am now live streaming. Yay! <laughs> Hello, everybody. It is Saturday afternoon. It has been a very, very busy, long week. Um, I've actually been in meetings for most of the day, several days this week, and just running around like crazy. So um, it has been a week that all sorts of stuff for the channel has had to kind of slide just a little bit because other things a little bit more important were coming in. But um, hopefully this next week you can start getting caught up a little bit again. So hope everybody is doing well. Um, it is going to still be a busy week this coming week. Both of my kids actually graduate from college on Friday. And uh, their baccalaureate service and parents meeting and all that kind of stuff is actually on Thursday. So my Thursday and Friday are probably going to be pretty busy. Uh, but it's going to be great stuff. Uh, really looking forward to that. Uh, but we'll try and get some other stuff prepped up this week. I'll talk a little bit more about that a little bit later. Hello, uh, Farrakath. I really should put my glasses on. Ha happy to have you from down under. Hello from Florida, Heather. Good to see you. Um, yes, Amber and Joseph are really excited. Joseph is actually still at school. He's doing his finals this week and trying to finish everything up. Uh, he actually just got himself a part-time job and is trying to get a full-time job. And uh, all sorts of stuff for them going on this week. Hello, Chris. Hey, Jay. Good to see you. So, um, hi, Silver Daydream and Small Joes and everybody else. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all the names. Amber is actually here with me today. She'll be popping in in just a little bit. Uh, my wife is here. My son is not because, again, he's trying to finish everything up. But, um, but we'll be able to talk about that. Um, I've got a ton of mail. If you didn't see the picture, I have two packet. Let's say I have two boxes, um, a large padded envelope, three, four smaller padded package envelopes, and then a bunch of letters and stuff. So I will be catching all them. I do want to give a shout out to Crane Elementary sixth graders. I got a whole bunch of different letters here from them. I actually got to spend a little bit of time with them on Monday, and there we go. You get to see some of them. Uh, they were actually talking about physics, and the topic of roller coasters came up a couple weeks ago. And next thing I knew, I was in class with them, sharing about how roller coasters work and how they stay on the track, and showing some of my parts. You know, people would call them junk, um, <laughs> but talking about the parts I have, which are I've got a brake fin and a piece of wood coaster track and some other stuff. And we had a really good time. So they sent me a bunch of thank you notes. So there you go, Crane Sixth Grade. There's your shout out. Uh, had a lot of fun with them. I. I don't get over into the classroom with them as often as I would like anymore, but I wanted to make sure I gave them that credit there. I know there's a few of them that are going to be watching, so let's see. How am I doing? Doing okay? Still working on the trains? Awesome. Um, yeah, I don't get to ride trains very much. If you saw the parade video that was posted yesterday, and I hope you did, then um, hopefully you got to enjoy the music from the parade. Uh, the Disneyland Paris Parade probably has my favorite parade music of any. And so much so that uh, when I was there, I actually, if you saw this in the mail hall, that is actually the soundtrack from that parade. It I actually spent about seven and a half U.S. dollars to buy essentially one song and a couple variations of it because it's just an awesome parade. So I've actually had that stuck in my head all day. Just wanted to point that out. Okay. <laughs> So anyways, I'm going to be jumping into the mail because, like I said, there is a ton of it here. And I want to make sure I can get through all of it. Um, we will be talking as well about um, the Sir Willow uh, News and Views video. I got some really good positive reaction on that. So I'll be talking about that a little bit more as well as getting some um, feedback from it and, and what you liked and didn't like. And showing you a couple of new things coming up with that as well and give you some previews. Uh, one box I want to start off with, so I'm going to start off with one of my packages instead of waiting, is actually, um, it's from Anthony Russo, and it is a big box. I'm just going to give you a, a little bit of an idea here. I actually received this right about the same time that um, I was at Paris, and so it has been sitting here waiting for a bit. And I'm like, okay, I've got to get this box open because they've been very patient with me to you know, wait, and and I've been very patient trying not to open it, because it has definitely been sitting here driving me nuts. Um, by the way, I love this. If you look at the return address, we have the Rebel Alliance. Star Wars. <laughs> Let's see. Actually, I'm trying to think. Is that Imperial or is that Rebels? Ooh. Let's see. 
Oh, Tammy, I'm sorry about your father-in-law. How is he doing? If, if that was last night, um, give me an update. I hope he's doing well. Um, send me a name, send me a message afterwards too, so I can add him onto our church's prayer list because we want to do that. Ooh, sliding this thing open. Mail openers are awesome. So what you can't see is now we have it opened. I wonder if I should here. Let me hold on, everybody. Slight earthquake coming. I'm gonna tilt that camera down just a little bit. There we go. Eh, you can almost see the flaps. <laughs> All right, and we have. Low cost attractions, maps, and pamphlets. We got a whole big envelope there. And he's got several envelopes stacked here. I'm trying to show you what I'm looking at as I open this up. You can see there's a few things there. And there's a letter, so time for the glasses. Dear George, aka Sir Willow, contained in this care package is both private and public gifts you can share, view, video, and enjoy. Okay, um, otherwise, all for me to enjoy as I wish. Sent you maps, pins, and brochures. All from the area I work and live in. Also includes some moxie and other local flavor. A few things you might really be interested in the stuff in our ministry. Oh, that would be very cool. Loon Mountain has a ministry that not only serves the town of Lincoln, New Hampshire, but also the mountain. We have services at the top of the mountain and in town. Well worth checking out if you're ever up here. That would be really cool. Ministry, like most, does great work for the kids in town. Unlike most, it includes people from all over the world. Our congregation changes with the tourists, and our amazing minister rents it like a dream. That's always fun when you get the churches where people from all over the world visit while they're on vacation. Love those. On another note, if you visit in the summer, I could treat you to many of the attractions and the brochures. Ooh, come up in the winter, I could get you and your family lift tickets. That would be kind of fun. I've actually never been snow skiing. It's, it's crazy it is. I lived in a place in Northern, grew up in a place in Northern California an hour away from ski resorts. I never went snow skiing. Went tubing and stuff, but... Um, keep up the great work, Anthony Russo. Thank you so very much, Anthony. So let's see here. And there is more maps, pamphlets, stuff like that. Let's see. Let me start pulling. Oh, boy. There's some yummies in this box. So the first thing I'll do is I'll pull out this bag. And we have... Oh. Here, hun, this will be for you. My wife just walked into the room. Creamed clover honey. Ooh, yum yum. There you go. She's the big honey person. So it's delicious. And yeah, oh, no, she wasn't exactly expecting to be in here quite yet. And then there's maple syrup. Maple circle. There's a really old song reference to some of you. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Me <laughs> so, and then also in here is four bottles. Let's see if I can pull one of these out so you can see it. So it's not through a bunch of different plastic bags. He's got them all individually wrapped in bags and everything else, just in case there's an issue, which they came through just fine. Moxie. <laughs> yeah, you got some real moxie to send me some moxie. Okay. Bad joke. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Anthony. That's great. And then. Like I said, all the pamphlets and everything, um, as thick as those are, those are going to take me a little while. So let me see how I do in the rest of the mail. And I may come back and open those up on the video. Thank you. That's very, very cool. The honey won't last long. No. <laughs> so let's see. Miles, I think you, I think you sent me mail. Um, I can't remember if your name is one of those in here or not. There's a, a bunch over here. There really is. So let's see. Um... Trying to juggle it with my dining table that's next to me. You donated. Thank you, Nazgul. Did I like Disney Paris? Yes, Lisa Marie. I loved Disney Paris. Um, I've had a couple of the vlogs come up. There's still a lot more to come. Um, so you will be seeing those eventually. Um, it's just taking me a long time because there's so much going on. Um, so in all the mail, a lot of you know that Barry Hom likes to write me. Well, Barry decided to have a little bit of fun this time. And he actually said two... To Mrs. Sir Willow. Did you know that you were Mrs. Sir Willow? No. Gotta love the expression on her face there, huh? <laughs> so I'm going to pass those on to her. Um, and Anthony, I do have those brochures sitting here, so we'll see how time works out for Did that. Did you want me to open them? Or... Yep, you can start opening those. I like <laughs> Get your priorities straight. No one ever said on his deathbed, gee, if only I'd spent more time at the office. <laughs> 
you want Amber as well? Uh, we'll get Amber in just a second. Okay. Let's see here. This is, oh. see, I'm telling you, I'm behind. Happy Easter. Um, my mom dragged me to church today. Go, mom. Go, Barry's mom. <laughs> Haven't been in a while. I usually work on Sundays. Do not burst into... Do not burst into flames when I walk through the door. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> All right, this is very thoughtful. It's a Happy Mother's Day card. It's very thoughtful. Um, a simple wish for a perfect day, just the kind of day you deserve. I don't know how you put up with George. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 25 years of putting up with me. And we have a rather busy Mother's Day schedule this year because that's when our Local grads have their graduation. Yeah, our high school is really weird in that they always do the high school graduation on Mother's Day in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Why? It's like, I'd like to go out to lunch with my mom, and I can't do it. No. Okay, so this is also from Barry. It's a padded envelope. So we're going to get some of Barry's mail out of the way. And, Aww. ooh, it's got a finger cuff. I don't know if it's a finger <laughs> Hmm? This is thoughtful also, just very thoughtful. Those who teach change the world. And so it's uh, for teachers. And it says you're the kind of teacher who doesn't mind giving a little extra attention when it's needed. That really means a lot to your students and to their parents. Thank you so much. Happy National Teachers Day. You know, I, I scarcely even hear of that mention of a National Teachers Day. So that is amazing. Very, very thoughtful. George, can you put it close enough where they can see the cute little card? Let's see. There, there you go. Yeah, thank you so much. See, here, very thoughtful. Here's right. how behind I am on the mail. Um, this is, again, from Barry. This was dated March 11th, and it arrived just before I left for Disney Paris, and I missed it. Um, by the time you read this letter, you're probably packing to go to Disneyland Paris. Jealous. <laughs> Sorry it took so long, Barry. Um, a lot is very similar to other Disney parks, and I'm kind of skimming through. Has the best itineration of the Haunted Mansion, which unfortunately was closed when I was there. Mm -hmm. uh, they have no Splash Mountain. Yep, I wish there had been. Uh, let's see. Oh, he was at Disneyland Paris. How very cool. Mm -hmm. Do you need to know French? Um, just a few. Let's see. If you stay within the Disneyland Paris resort area, most cast members know some English. Won't be quoting Shakespeare, but they know enough to answer questions like, where's the bathroom? And what time is the 3 o'clock parade? Actually, in Disneyland Paris, it's at 5 o'clock. Yep. There you go. <laughs> The French smoke everywhere inside and out. Yep, it's not like everyone smokes, but you may be used to it. Uh, let's see. You will know a little English through the proximity. Sent me a flash drive with the videos of Disneyland Paris and Walt Disney Studios that he took that's up on his YouTube channel. Ooh, so that's what this is. Mm. But they are of a higher quality on the drive. I also put video of theme parks in Japan in case I have relatives there. Ooh, some of the Japan videos were taken off YouTube due to copyright. Basically, probably the music. Um, particularly the Tokyo Disney Resort ones. Booty YouTube. <laughs> I wasn't making money off them anyways. Feel free to use them in a future video of yours. Thank you, Barry. I will probably Very do thoughtful. that. Very awesome. Nice. Very nice. So thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. Um, Amber? Got to yell at my kid. Should I go find her? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I have one other package here that I know has a couple things for them in it. So I'm going to get them. Now, I still have two more from Barry. But what I'm going to do while we're waiting for Amber to come back is I'm going to grab another envelope from Zach Harris, who I thought I just saw Zach pop up here a minute ago. And here comes Amber. Okay, tell you what, Zach, we're going to put yours on hold just a second. And she's got Celie, who was hiding. Let's see if they can adjust the camera, because I don't think we can see her. Here, just go. Bang. Earthquake! So now we got an arm. Okay, so this is something um, that one of my supporters said to me and you can see it says yay it is from tea turtle which tea turtle has all sorts of stuff and they basically sent me a request saying okay who's what are your favorite characters so this will be kind of fun to see gold ranger says hi to you margaret oh hello that's cool you just donated 40 bucks where did you donate it to um because if you did it on patreon i haven't got i won't see that notification until afterwards if you did it through YouTube with their super chat, it is not showing yet. So, um, let's see. We've got t shirts here, and the one on top is my son's. He's not here, so we'll get to show that off. That is for Joseph. Ooh, cute. That's kind of cute. I don't know. Amber might steal that one. That's I could see that. Adorable. This is mine. Aww. Aww. Lovely. I used to really like that shirt. And then this would be Margaret's. 
Alrighty. Ooh. And this would be Amber's. I like it. Cat. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty's my favorite. I love the ginger cat. I love it. And she does love Alice in Wonderland, by the way. Well, Cheshire's one of her favorite characters. Yes. Chessie. Love it. Yes, you just call Chessie a lot around Cheshire. here. Cheshire. 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 Likes to play chess. No. That was, okay. <laughs> it was a dare earlier. She's like, you wouldn't, if you bear up on camera, I'm going to hit you. That was a weak hit. Well, I'm holding the dog. I don't want to throw her off. You can throw Celia off. That's no. okay. Ever, anybody ever want to see a puppy fly? She just woke up. Oh, she just looks so happy right now. I'm like, mm, it's okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Skim back over here. Um, Tammy woke up. Okay, able to answer questions and move arms to those. Good. That's an awesome update on your father-in-law there, Tammy. Um, let's see. Uh, three o'clock parade isn't at three. Yeah, not in Paris. It's a different time. So, um, be it Silver Dollar City Area Memorial Weekend. That's awesome, Chris. I have no idea what our plans are for that weekend yet. We will see. So, anyways, that's, that's the ones I have for you. Thank you. So, Gracias. they're in. They're out. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, good, we get off camera. Do you want to see me? Uh, I don't know. We'll see what she does. You can put her on the chair. She almost fell off. Yep. Slide these things back over so I can get back where I belong. Hey, Celie. Yeah, she's looking at me. <laughs> this poor dog worships me. She's so confused. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's see. Back to Zach's envelope. Now, how many of you actually watched my news and views? What time is in my hometown? It is 1.15 here. How many of you watched my news and views where I talked about the monorails and um, the sky cabins and stuff like that? I'm just kind of curious. How many of you enjoyed that? Because I got some good feedback from it. Oh, hey. Look, Seely. It's you. Okay, it looks a little different. So thank you. Very cool. Dear Sir Willow, hope you're doing well. I recently visited Hershey Park and had a great time. Want to send you this pin for your collection. Hope you like it. There's a Hershey pin. Awesome. Wonderful. Thank you so much for that, Zach. That is a cool pin. I've actually been going through redoing all my pins and trying to get them organized a little bit. Um, just to give you an idea, let's see. I'm now putting them into binders to try to keep them a little more organized and all sorts of stuff. But So thank you. That is awesome. Um, let's see. Disney has put in a bid for Fox. It has not been finalized yet. Um, did you all like the format of it? Uh, because what I'm doing is I'm, I'm thinking about different ways to make it more interesting, uh, to make it more live. More live. Um, I'm strongly debating actually doing it as a live thing a couple times a month where I would essentially give uh, the news updates and uh, things like that. And then I can actually take questions and answers about that specific topic that day. So I think it would be fun that way. Um, but curious how much, how many of you would actually like it if you prefer it live or if you prefer it uh, for me to do completely recorded ahead of time? One of the things I've been doing, um, I've actually been working with the program I use to stream live called Xstream or XSplit, sorry. And um, been starting to play with it just a little bit and found out I can do a couple things. So if you saw the little intro on that, I've been playing with it a bit. So I'm going to give you another little preview here. So check this out. <laughs> And I hope that didn't just blast out your ears like it did on my end. Um, so I've kind of been doing the intro, redoing it a little bit, and trying to make it a little bit better. So um, fine-tuning. It still has a little bit more fine-tuning, but trying to get a little bit more in there so it won't be just Disney-esque. Yeah, sorry about that, Miles. <laughs> um, but that would be j just specifically for the news and views thing. And like I said, I've been adding some things in and upgraded my uh, streaming program so I can actually throw in some videos and some stuff like that, which I couldn't do. So, um, yep, thank you, Hydrofinks. Yeah, it kind of popped me, too. I was like, all right, so I got something I'll have to tune in there. Thankfully, it was only 10 seconds. So, learning new tricks, and you'll notice even with the video that's on it um, that I've got a number of new effects in there I'm playing with. So, trying to learn some new things. Um... And, yeah, Brandon brings up a good point there. 
what I'd probably do is it'd probably be about seven to ten minutes or so that even though I'm live, I would be talking about what the subject is and showing some video clips and some things like that, and then filling in for somewhere between five to ten minutes afterwards with questions and discussion. Um, I wouldn't be running real long. I'd say it'd be about 20 minutes or so tops, even though it would be live, because um, I don't want to do the real long thing. Um, and we'd save that for, for the mail calls and stuff. So that's kind of where I'm thinking about it, but I would love more feedback and opinions and stuff like that, and kind of see where we go from there. And I'm trying to reach for an envelope here, and I've got to move a couple things. Because it's fallen out of the way. Okay. Like so I've got like three stacks of stuff here. So <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, this one arrived about a week and a half ago from uh, Rochelle Mullen in Washington. So there's your envelope, Rochelle. And now we get to see. But yes, uh, definitely keep giving me feedback. If there are certain subjects that you would like to see me discuss in that, uh, that would also be uh, really good. While I'll try to keep up with some of the instant uh, live news, because I'm not in Florida and I don't do a daily thing, um, I wouldn't be able to do the instant stuff. And there's lots of people that do that anyways. So it would be more kind of a, a feedback, a little bit of an update, but some other things with it. And let's see. And Rochelle sent me bubble wrap. We'll see what that is in a minute. And, and another glass boat. Let's see. Oh, big print. I don't need my glasses. <laughs> Dear Sir Willow, I thought I'd send you a quick note to let you know that I really do love watching your videos, both channels. I do sometimes wonder, wonder though, if you and my local Southern Baptist preacher compare sermon notes, as there have been a couple times that you both preach somewhat similar messages. God just works that way sometimes. <laughs> The enclosed pins are some that I got from Pinderella. Thanks for the recommendation. By the way, if you haven't bought pins from Pinderella Shop LLC on Facebook yet, go check her out. Um, she has some great prices and shipping is super quick. Yes, they are. Chose these three pins to send to you as you seem to have so enjoyed working with those characters. They're from the Cuties Mystery Bags. Just an update on that figment I won a while back. He's got a special spot on one of my bookshelves sitting among books on the American Revolution. And I'm a history nut, too, so that's perfect. I think it's a good spot for him. He's keeping Washington and his contemporaries good company. Keep up the wonderful work. It's great to be able to watch videos. They're so positive, fun, and educational. Rochelle Mullen. Thank you so much, Rochelle. And to get this open, let's see. Um, Connor, while I do my thoughts on my trip from Paris, I actually have already. There's a couple different videos up that talk about several of my thoughts and experiences. So um, check recent videos, and you can see several of them there. Um, as well as the last live feed that I did right after the trip. That's going to cover most of that. So, where can you get my address so you can send me something? Michelle, look in the description of every single one of my videos. And my address is right there. Easy to find. Shannon, be polite. Um, I used to think that when I was 19. And let's just say that God rocked my world. <laughs> Showed me how much I thought I knew and I really didn't know nothing. Oh, uh, let's see. But you can actually, if you look at my Burning Bush channel, you can see that story. So I, I'll leave it off here. Oh, these are really cute. There is. If I can hold them up here. There is Chippendale. There we go. A little bit. Uh, that one. And Donald. And yes, three of my troublemakers. I loved working with them. So thank you so much, Rochelle. Those are awesome. Let's see. Let me catch another one here from Barry. And I still have another big box and several padded envelopes and things. So Let's see. Going to get a box from Zinia. That will be wonderful. I look forward to it. Custer's Waterloo. That would be a really neat place to visit, Tammy. It really would. Let's see. This actually could be for my wife as well. Teacher, you're great. Thanks for being an above and beyond kind of teacher. Happy National Teacher's Day. Do your dogs ever eat your, eat your kids' homework? Uh, no, but Ginger does have a knack for stepping all over it sometimes. Which is one of the reasons they do it all on computer now. <laughs> Am I excited for Slinky Dog Dash to open up? Um, 
Yes, but I'm not going to get to experience it until the earliest next year. So uh, it looks like it'll be a really neat coaster, though. And as far as mock rides, I know it's spelled Mac for those of us here in the States, but it's pronounced mock. Uh, they have made some fantastic coasters. Love their spinning coasters, and I love what they did with um, with Time Traveler. Whoo! Going blank. Okay, so we have a double envelope from Barry. It's an envelope and an envelope. And like I said, there's still several things over there. Uh, Canadian living in Italy. <laughs> Not sure if you remember me. Donated to my distant trip. Thank you so very much, Chantel. I appreciate that. That was an awesome trip. That wouldn't happen without all of you. Let's see. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so we got another postcard with the Haunted Mansion. This is the Disney World version of Haunted Mansion. It says, hi, I picked these up during my recent visit at the Magic Kingdom. Maybe you can use it to be the 1,000th ghost. I also had lunch at the BR Guests and dinner at Jungle Cruise. They were both excellent. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. And this is really cool. How about a bat key? -da -da -da. <laughs> awesome. My daughter would probably fight me for it because my daughter collects keychains. But that's very cool. Thank you so much, Barry. And let's see. There's a three more, and I still have another big box over there. Um, let's see. Happy birthday, Allie! Hi, Allie! I hope it's an awesome birthday. So how old's Allie? Okay, oh, I know. That could be a dangerous question, depending upon how old she is. If she's a kid, it's okay, but if she's not, <laughs> pretend I didn't ask. Happy 21st. There, that's safe. <laughs> um, yeah, self-checking harnesses. There's actually a number of coasters that they've designed in recent years that have self-checking harnesses, where there's actually lights that will tell you if the harness is secure or not, um, which is really kind of neat. But Time Traveler is an awesome ride. Uh, let's see. Construction. Heather was at Hollywood Studios, got to see construction. They're supposed to be opening up. Um, what soft opens, I think, are actually going to be in about two weeks. And then June... Toy Story Land at Hollywood Studios is open. And then Star Wars Land later. Um, we are hoping to go down to Florida at the end of next summer because my uh, church denomination, the Assemblies of God, has our every other year business meeting down there. And so I'm hoping to actually work out lodging and everything and try to work a couple friends over and see if we can't get over to see the new Star Wars Land. So I'm hoping we will see if budgets and everything allow. Um, it'll be trying to do that as cheap as we can, but I'm... I'm hopeful. Um, I know people on this last trip even offered tickets to possibly Bush Gardens or SeaWorld, and that might be something for next summer, if you're all around. So uh, I'm hoping, I, I'm hoping to be able to see Star Wars Land. That would be really cool. Be our guest. I was so bummed, was booked when I was up there last time. I didn't get to go. Let's see. Um, yes, I would love to get to Europa Park in Germany, Chantal. I really would. Um, even when I was in France, I actually... Uh, took a look in uh, Park House Street, which is also in Paris. Unfortunately, it was closed, or I would have spent a day over there. So this one is actually from Kathleen Adair. And um, the address on there is very interesting because I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's Europe somewhere. That much I know. So we will find out when we get it open. Yeah, SeaWorld is a... I love going to SeaWorld. SeaWorld is an awesome park. Ooh, there's a couple really neat things in here. Dear Sir Willow, greetings from Canada. That's Canada? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Kathleen. <laughs> really enjoy watching your videos. Would you go back to Disneyland Paris? Absolutely. I loved Disneyland Paris. It, it Honestly, it was a really, really neat park. And close are some American-themed coasters that I made. Hope you enjoy using them. Keep up the good work. Oh, very cool. You can see that they are all red, white, and blue. Thank you so much, Kathleen. Yes, we will definitely use those. Absolutely. Um, when I go back to Disneyland Paris, in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Just a beautiful park. Um, here, give you an example, though, of why I'm a little behind on trying to get some of the stuff up. I'm going to show you something else. Don't worry, there's not booming sound this time. But I do actually have um, my picture program here. So you can kind of see how many pictures I've got. And you can see my mouse on there. My Disneyland Paris Park pictures actually start there. And you can see there's 78, 86. Uh, the character meal, there's 55. Here, just from the Champs-Élysées and Arc de Triomphe. And I'm sorry for my terrible French there. 
you can see just how many pictures I've got. Um, Versailles, there's 189. These are not the videos. These are just pictures. Um, there's another 264 from Eiffel Tower and the river and all sorts of stuff there. Uh, my friend that I went with, that's right, 2,173 pictures. For my phone, there's another 320 pictures. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought this was hilarious. I know what it says, but for all of us dumb Americans, the place of toilets. It's where they sell perfumes, okay? But <laughs> it's just got to be a dumb American at some point. Um, so all the way down here, so there's just a huge number of pictures. And yes, you got some of the best critters in the world there. Yes, even Disneyland Paris has its ducks. <laughs> so, but that is part of the reason it is taking me so long to get through it, because I've just got so much there. Hello, Mother of Dragons and Sirens. Um, but yes, if, I, if I'm going out of state, I definitely try to post ahead of time so people would know. Uh, let's see. Well, hello, Jolie. I can definitely give you a shout out that way. Um, Chantal, if I, if I do get to Germany, I will let you know. But it's one of those things, I don't know how I would ever get to Germany because my budget and time and everything else, but I never thought I would get to France either. And I went, and I never thought I'd get to go to Israel, and that's coming up in June. And so it, it has been incredible. I'm getting to go places that I never, ever dreamed I would. So who knows? Um, have I considered a San Antonio trip to do Fiesta, Texas, SeaWorld, and the Riverwalk? I've actually driven through San Antonio years and years ago when we lived in Texas, but I've never had the chance to go to the parks. Would I consider it? Absolutely. I'll give you an easy answer, Tim. If there is a theme park there, yes, I would consider going. If I could find a way to do it. Um, Sentinel Parks. The only reason I would be doing Star Wars in um, end of July, August when we go is probably because it would be the only opportunity I would more than likely ever get to go and see and do it. So that's why we would do it. Um, I, I know it's going to be crowded beyond belief. And, you know, if you could avoid it, you should. But it'd be our only opportunity, which is why we would do it. Um Let's see. So I have another one here from Jenny Dobson in the United Kingdom. I've got several international things this time, which is so cool. I love getting stuff from around the world. And she's got this thing wrapped up good, so out comes the letter opener onto the bag. Yeah, actually, those pictures of the ducks that I showed, we were actually sitting at Casey's Corner at the time eating hot dogs. And they were up there looking for hot dogs and french fries. <laughs> Uh, my daughter has actually been to Rome. Uh, she got to do that as part of her senior trip for college. And so she's seen places that we haven't gotten to see. Have I been to Frontier City in Oklahoma? Yes, I have, way back in 2004 when I was moving across the country. I loved it. Really enjoyed Frontier City. Let's see. Dear Sir Willow, I love watching your YouTube channel. I want to give you something to say thank you. And close are a few items from my favorite places to visit near me. Creswell Crag Crags. And Sherwood Forest. Sherwood Forest. Ooh, very good. Kind regards, Jenny Dobson. And we have a Robin Hood pin. That's very cool. Creswell Craggs. Amazing stories. Ama inspiring stories. Amazing discoveries. Stunning landscape. Chewing puppy. Sealy, stop. <laughs> very cool. So there is the brochure. Oh, how neat. That would be so much fun to go walking around in. And then you can see other brochures. That looks really, really neat. There's more pictures, picture postcards here from it as well. Major Oak. If you ever actually get to go to Legoland in Florida, um, a place called Cypress Gardens, they have this tree that is absolutely humongous and spread over a couple acres. One tree, a couple acres. Yeah, I'm not making that up. Um, but this reminds me of that a little bit. Sherwood Forest, our legend is growing. And, no, I have not seen the new Avengers movie yet. No spoilers. Uh, we'll go Wednesday when my son has the day off. Oh, this is so neat. So this is a little tapestry. There we go. How cool is that? That, and let's see the bottom of it. That is awesome. That's going to go up on the wall in my room. I, I can tell you that right now. That is very, very neat. Thank you so much, Jenny. Oh, and there's also a keychain hiding in there, too, for Crystal Crags. 
and then you can see the other side. Very, very neat. Thank you so much. That's awesome. It's like Christmas every time I do one of these. There's such neat stuff in here. Let's... And... Okay, now, Brendan, I know that you were here. Let's see. Go to Magic Springs and ride the X-Coaster. At some point, I definitely will. Um, let's see. Morgan's one of the... San Antonio is a place that's easy to spend a whole lot of time. Um, I've actually been to St. Augustine, Florida, when we lived in Florida. Uh, yes, loved it. Very neat place. Um, let's see. Am I going to make my way out to ride Still Vengeance? It doesn't look like this year. I really, really wanted to, but we had some other things come up. Basically, my tax return money might have paid for it, but then with the medical bills and other stuff, that ended up eating up a lot of what I'd hoped to go. So, no, no Steel Vengeance this year. Maybe next year. It, one of my friends from the Coaster Clubs just posted pictures of himself like two days ago writing it. I'm like, oh, it looks so awesome. Let's see. Open the box. I'll get there. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm saving the box for last. Let's see. Okay, so anyways, Brendan, there's your envelope. See if I can... Ah, oh, there we go. Pull tab to open. Okay, we can do that. And we have a letter that says, Dear Sir Willow, I hope you are doing well. Good to see that you had a great time on your recent trip to Paris. Inside with this letter are a few things I thought you might enjoy. I don't know how much of a baseball fan you are, but I've noticed the Springfield Cardinals cap in the background on some of your videos. Yep, because they're the local team. I'm a fan of the team in the same league, the Frisco Rough Riders. Uh-oh. <laughs> you came to mind recently as I attended a game against Springfield. I've enclosed a program from that game as well as a pin and schedule. And there is their program. The Springfield Cardinals are, um, I think they're double A. And they have a fairly nice stadium. They're the local team. And it's fun to just go watch the games and enjoy the sun. Our spring and summer here in Springfield is just beautiful. It's a wonderful time to go out. So we've had a few times to be able to go to the games. Frisco Rough Riders I have seen play a couple times. Um, from your video of Six Flags Over Texas last year, you said you couldn't find a magnet that was specific to Six Flags Over Texas. Encloses one, I believe, that may take care of that. And I'm guessing that is what is in this envelope. Also, there are a couple of theme park brochures and maps. Thank you for everything you do with your channel. I enjoy watching the videos. I'm glad to be able to support you. Thank you so much for that too, Brandon. Yes, he is one of my patrons. So, hope to make it out to Silver Dollar City in the near future. Oh, that's really cool. That's the Rough Riders pin. That's actually a really neat looking pin. And then, there is, yes, that is awesome. That is the Six Flags Over Texas Magnet. And if you haven't been on Titan, awesome coaster. Really fun coaster. So there, and yes, it does move. Let's see here. There we go. I can move it that way. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brandon. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, and the brochures. There is Six Flags Over Texas and Epic Waters. Of course, right now, if you actually had brochures from like, um, from Schlitterbahn, those are going to become collector's items because, uh, Schlitterbahn's probably going to go bye-bye. But that's a whole other thing for news and views. So, what is my favorite theme park? Smiles a lot. you got to watch all my videos. I don't have one. I can't pick a single one. Favorite Silver Dollar City ride? The train, of course, because I worked on it for years. Um, although it was much better when I was there, but that's because I was there. Not that I'm proud about that or anything. <laughs> Let's see. Um, just making sure. Yep. I think I caught, it, caught everything there. All right. So now then we have a big box here. Bigger box. So you can kind of see. And yes, this one is also from United Kingdom as well. And it rattles. So let's attack some of the tape. Okay. There we go. And the funny thing is, the box says one of two. I know that there's supposed to be an envelope that came that's going to come with it, and the envelope hasn't arrived yet. And international mail is weird sometimes. The things that will arrive quickly and things that don't. So I've had the box for just over a week, but no envelope. So my next mail call, I'll probably have the envelope. <laughs> there it is. Some 
small envelope there. It's Sir Willow and Family. Let's see if I can get open. Chippendale! That's really cool. It says, Dear Sir Willow and Family, I hope you enjoy the goodies I've enclosed. The leaflets are all local attractions to me here in the UK. And let's see. Bought a. Um, Whew. Right. If you would like to have a look, if you ever visit uh, the UK, you have a uh, free for free tour guide. Also include the Paris tips for future reference. So, and this is from Ashley. And yeah, I hope to get to the UK someday. Someday. There's so many places on. It would be one of those things that if I had the money, I would just tour the world because there's so many places I'd love to go. I want to go up to Montreal at some point, uh, Quebec City, because my family history is up there. I'd love to go around United Kingdom, and there's parks, but there's so much history there, too. It'd be fun to be able to you know, go to Buckingham Palace, for example, and uh, the Tower. There's so many places in Europe, and but, you know, I can dream. Oh, and bubble wrap. You want the bubble wrap, Seely? Hello, Ruby. The cat has come out. Maybe. She's kind of looking over there for food. There is a Disneyland Paris program. This is actually their schedule of stuff. So if you want to know where things were. And I love how Disneyland Paris did theirs because they're both parks. There's studios. So you can go into one park and you get your brochures for everything at once. And postcard. That is the Disneyland Paris Hotel. And then there's boxes in here. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Ooh. Let's see. Now, don't worry about your writing. Your writing's good. I'm just like, bleh. Um, Gavin, it's very possible you did. I was on the train at Silver Dollar City from 2012 to 14. So if you were on the train at all in that time, there's a good chance it was me. Um, now, Sentinel Parks, I basically would be going up to Montreal and Quebec. Don't worry, I'm not going to forget the box. Uh, if you actually look back at the history of Quebec City, you had an initial wave of settlers that settled it back in the early 1600s. And then shortly after that, there was another wave of settlers, and they're really the ones that finally got the city established. Well, my ancestors actually go back to that wave of settlers. Um, and in fact, the lady who um, was the very first, um, the first person born in Quebec, who then got married and had kids in Quebec, she is actually my great 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 aunt. Um, I'm descended from one of her brothers, <laughs> so a uh, lot of history there, which is why I would love to go. Let's see. State Sequoia from Pennsylvania. Hi, Allison. Okay, so back to the box. And, ooh, Margaret will like this. Gluten-free, wheat-free, triple chocolate chunk cookies. Hey, Margaret. No need to see box. You want cookie? You don't think you can. Come over here. You can see. Hmm? Look at the box. Aww. Gluten free. Oh, Ooh. how very sweet. Very sweet. Thank Hello, you. white chocolate heart decorated with raspberry power. That sounds yummy. Powder. Decorated with power. <laughs> I have the power. Okay. Oh, who is this person that did This is from on here is Skater Punk Barbie. Okay. Thank so, you. Thank you so much. And there is. Oh, Cadbury Chocolate Heroes Friends Bag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I love the British chocolate. Uh, when I actually worked at Epcot, the UK Pavilion there actually gets their candies from Britain. So you would buy a, a Kit Kat bar, which we have here in the States. But the ones at the UK Pavilion, they actually made in the UK and they would ship them here. And it's just a different chocolate. Oh, so good. I'm going to take a look at these. Let's see. And I'm trying to dig through. I've got a few different things. There's oh. Cadbury Dairy Mix Giant Buttons. There's some of that chocolate I'm talking <laughs> about. Mmm. I'm never going to lose weight at this rate. There we go. Here's our cookie. Caramel Nibbles. Free. Thank you. <laughs> there is... Oh, there's a Disney bag. Yes, I do actually keep bags from Disney. I know, that's really weird, but I do. Uh -huh. <laughs> there is something Disney here. And it is very delicious, I want to say. Oh, 
Yeah, Pink is mentioning uh, went to SCC because of Uncle Gene's death. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Uncle Gene uh, was a long-time Silver Dollar City employee. Uh, he worked at the cave desk. So as you walk in, there's a giant cave in Silver Dollar City. And he worked at the desk there and would greet everybody coming into the park. Yeah. He would tell stories down at the homestead cabin at Christmas time. Um, and he'd worked in other places. Just been there for years. Wonderful, wonderful man. And he passed on last week. And so there were a lot of us. I got stuck in meetings all week in Springfield and couldn't make it to the funeral, which I was not happy with. But things happen. Oh, this is cute. Oh, and um, she's walking off with the box of cookies. So there they go. <laughs> Inner strangers leave his friends. That's very neat. Very good. Oh, oh, oh. Pins. Sequoia. Okay, thank you. That is an awesome pin. And then I love. Oh, that's neat. It's a rose pin. There we go. There's still more in here. Maltesers. And actually, this is really cool because I love malt balls. So that's awesome. That'll be mine. Nobody else is getting that. We still have more bubble wrap and another bag. But we can get the box. Box is empty now. Now we just got to figure out what this is. Where does this come from? What country? United Kingdom. Oh, I can tell that the, the packaging is different. It's so good. She had to come in and find out, okay, what country are these from? Because these are so good. <laughs> Um, have I been to Universal Studios? Yes, Gavin, I have been to both. And in fact, if you want to know about the Florida ones, look back to my videos from um, January and February, and you can see my videos from Universal Studios there. Rose pins for a cancer charity in the United Kingdom. Very cool. Been to resort towns such as Riviera. I have actually not been very much into Mexico. Um, I've been in Tijuana. I've been to a couple of the border places. I took a short I mean, a very short drive, essentially, down into Mexico City and then back again because we were dropping off some stuff for church. So I've been in Mexico, but I haven't really done anything touristy. And as far as the resort towns, those are all on the coast, which means a cruise. And we we're hoping to do a cruise for anniversary, but we're going to Israel instead. So I think that's a decent trade-off. What do I think of a major theme park? I don't know that it would do well because people don't go to towns like that for a theme park. They go to sit on the beach. Okay. Anyways, there's stuff in here, so there is. British Cocoa Grower Hotel Chocolate. Ooh, chocolate. And Bunnies Basket, 15 solid milk bunnies and chicks individually wrapped for your Easter hunt. Ooh, more chocolate. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. Funny stories, Pink Puker. You gotta watch my videos. I've got a lot of funny stories from Silver Dollar City in there. See, the one bad thing is when you've got over 100 videos on the main channel, it's easy to get them lost. If you look on my channel page, I've actually got playlists, and I have one playlist there that is Silver Dollar City Stories, and you can catch all my funny stories that way. That's the easiest way to find out on things like that is go to my channel homepage and then look at my playlists, and I've got a lot of them grouped that way. Okay, same thing, Gavin. <laughs> This has, we have Bubble Wrap, we've got Hadbury Outlet Shop. Ooh. Hulk Shooter, you got prom today? Actually, that's hilarious. Once I am done with this, I actually have to change clothes real quick, grab my camera gear, and I'm actually going down to our local park to shoot pictures of several of our kids for their prom tonight as well. Um, several of the kids that I've known for years. And so, yes, you've got prom. I don't have prom, but I do have photography for prom to do. Ooh. This is, okay, my wife is going to love you for this. Mint chocolate instant coffee and double chocolate instant coffee. Actually, my daughter will probably steal this as well. So, very cool. They are going to love that. That is awesome. <laughs> steal some chocolate. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Tonya, I love British chocolate. Mm. Thank you so much. Wow, I think I actually made it through all of my mail. That's a lot of mail. <laughs> uh, in fact, let me just double check. How are we doing time-wise? I'm not even sure. Where are we at? 49 minutes. Oh, hey, I made it all within an hour. 
I'm doing good. I'm almost proud of myself. Um, let's see. Now I just need triple chocolate. Yeah. Let's see. In my free time, have you ever tried any of the Roller Coaster Tycoons in our limits? I used to play Roller Coaster Tycoon all the time. I actually have Planet Coaster. I just haven't had time to really play it. I've done the demos, and that's it. Bought a game, you can't play it. <laughs> so I did say I might come back to these things. But yes, thank you so much, Skaterpunk. Oh, I love all the chocolate stuff. Like I said, trying to lose weight. Um, yeah, Miranda... Sorry you're not getting notifications. YouTube has been terrible about that lately. So here's the thing. If you're not getting notifications of videos and stuff, um, my Confessions episodes go up Thursdays at about 1 o'clock my time, so 2 o'clock in the afternoon, East Coast. Um, <laughs> my wife still like going, oh, these cookies are so good. I actually um, mm -hmm. 11 a.m. Um, Pacific. So every Thursday I will have a Confessions video up. Typically, I've had another video go up on Tuesday. That'll be a Park Tales. And I've been pretty consistent about something on Saturdays. So I would just say check my channel most days and you'll get it. You have to fix your um, grammar. You need to say these biscuits are so good. Oh, okay. My wife is informing me I need to be more proper. You may have heard her. The biscuits are so good. <laughs> um, Game Showman. Marching Band Parade. Actually, the best thing I can suggest for that is to talk to the cast members that are there, and they can point you to them. That is the easiest way to go. Um, I can tell you, but sometimes it changes, and sometimes where I would tell you to go, they've decided to use this reserved seating. So it would be tough to do that way. Do you assume me playing Roller Coaster Tycoon? Uh, you don't want to see that. I'm slow. I plot and plan everything, so I'm not exciting. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Skater Punk... I'm afraid to send you a message because all these cookies are so good. Can I do gameplay videos? I just don't have time, Miles. You see, here's here's the problem with doing that. I don't have time to play the game, let alone do a video of me playing the game. So there's I'm just so busy for stuff like that. Um, did we guys did we finish off the cow pies? Oh yeah, they lasted four days, maybe. Yeah, they were gone pretty quick, Cold Ranger. So I'm actually pulling up one of the attraction envelopes that was sent to me from Tom later, and he or earlier, and he's got all sorts of stuff in here: Clark's Trading Post, and Santa's Village. So these are fun. Favorite type of cookie? An edible one. Um, I love chocolate, but I there's a lot of cookies to eat. My problem is ooh, Hobo Railroad. That'd be fun. My problem with cookies is I generally tend to be a salt person, so I will eat cookies, but um, I don't necessarily eat a whole lot of them. If I have a choice between a cookie and a pistachio nut, for example, I'll go to the pistachio nut. I'm weird that way. Lost River. Okay, my, my train, my rail fans here are going to be going. Am I still a substitute? Um, currently, I haven't been substituting very much because I've been spending time working on the channel and doing some things like that. And uh, have not had the time rest I'd sub. I've actually been making as much money off the channel as I used to when I subbed. So neither one's a lot of money. Trust me on that. <laughs> but I haven't really been doing it. But I have still been volunteering at the school. And the kids all know me. And I still go to the games. So and then there's that one. That would be a fun one to ride. Look at that hill. So neat, neat, neat. Thank you so much. So let's see. Um. <laughs> Salted caramel cookies are invented. That's a good point. Oh, there's... Fun. Know the code. That's really neat. Park etiquette and education program. This is... Okay, that's actually for the ski lift things. This is all from Loon Mountain in New Hampshire. And there's a patch and... Stickers... Oh, and whoop, as I drop it, a pin, there it goes. So yeah, very neat, all from Loon Mountain. One of these days I'm going to get to go snow skiing. Show the train brochures again. <laughs> there you go, Billy. That's, there you go. <laughs> Billy's one of my rail fans. So, uh, let's see. 
What's my take on DC Rivals Hypercoaster Flash at Lua Adventure? I don't really know much anything about it, so my take is i got to find out more info. <laughs> I know. Sorry, Sentinel. Do I sub in elementary, middle, or high school? Yes. I sub everything. Substitutes can limit the grades. I basically go third grade on up when I sub. And I cover it all. And I really have covered it all. So, um, we got about five more minutes. There's some more stuff here, but I'm going to take my time so I can browse through those. Thank you so much to everybody who sent me stuff. I mean, it's it's just really, really cool. I love stuff like this. So it'll be taking, me, taking some time after I go take prom pictures in the park and being able to really dig through some of it. Um, the cookies are gone. <laughs> I think she ate them all already. <laughs> but um, such fun stuff. Thank you, everybody, for all that. If you do want to send stuff, again, if you didn't catch it, the address is in the uh, description of every single one of my videos. I've got links down there to all sorts of stuff. The store, the Discord channel. Uh, people have asked me about what gear I use, the cameras and things like that. There's actually now links in all the descriptions for all of that. Um, I don't know if it's in the live video feed, but every other video has all of those links as well. So, um, Let's see. <laughs> well, tell Michelle, tell Mary I said hi, and I can roar back. Arr! Uh, Wonder Woman Coaster Fiesta Texas looks like it'll be really cool. They've actually got one going in California as well. Um, should be a lot of fun to see how those turn out. Um, all sorts of new coasters that I want to ride. In. <laughs> Who knows? Gavin, I thought I answered that already. So, um, here, for Gavin and others, uh, I don't. I try not to pick favorites because it's hard for me to pick one single favorite because I'll have something that's a favorite one time and then my mood will change and it'll be different another time. So I don't have a single favorite Silver Dollar City ride. Um, yeah, my mom. <laughs> I eat the dough so they never turn into cookies. Um, don't ask her about the story with the uh, cream cheese cookie dough on my sister one time. It, it, we got in trouble. Let's just say that. <laughs> Heather, looking forward to your package. Am I excited for Walt Disney World to get Tron Light Cycles? Yes, I am. It looks like it'll be really cool, um, but it's years down the road. So, uh, Tomorrow is your first visit to Six Flags Great America. I loved Six Flags Great America. It, it really felt like going back home to the park I grew up at, which was its, at the time its sister park, which is Marriott's Great America in California, which last mail call I got a book about that, which I've still been flipping through. So very neat. Um, Will I ever write a memoir? Ah, my life's not that fantasy, that not that fascinating. Um, in, in fact, as far as a lot of the stories I would tell, they're actually already in video form. I've had people ask about a book. It's already in video. <laughs> so there's people who write better books than me. Thoughts on Time Traveler. Pink Puker, you need to go back and watch my video on it. I've got a whole full media coverage day of it. And that covers everything on Time Traveler for you. So, um, yeah, again, if, if you're trying to go, well, what about this park you visited in that park? Check my video history. I know people have not been getting notifications recently, which is weird. But once this video is done, if you click on my name and then hit the tab that says videos, and you'll get to see the long list of all the videos I've done, and you'll find a lot of those. There's also a search option on that page, too, where if you want to know about a certain ride or park or something, hit that little search box on my page. And if I've done a video talking about it, it'll pop up for you. So, um, yeah, no, I'm not aware the Pictorium is coming down, Sentinel. Uh, I know the one in California came down years ago. The Pictoriums, for those of you who don't know, uh, it, the Great America Parks were actually some of the very original IMAX theaters. At the time, they really didn't exist anywhere. And so they put in these huge IMAX screens in the parks, and they were cool because nothing came close to it at the time. Now IMAX is kind of like everywhere. But at the time, they were fantastic. But now they're so old, and unfortunately, the, the buildings are about done. Uh, any planned park trips this summer? Silver Dollar City is definitely on the list. Um, and that's probably going to be the main one, because the trip to Disney World, and the trip to Paris, and then the trip to Israel, that's kind of taken up our trip times. <laughs> so uh, not planning any other trips. But then we have family coming in July. Who knows what will happen? Um, you never know. Any new t-shirt designs coming? Have no idea yet. Uh, wait and see if other people do it or even if my kids decide to. Um, Gavin, I'm, I agree with you on the great movie ride. I, I, I love that ride. Um, 
And let's see. And I think that covers about everything. Unless there's any last second questions pop up. Thank you again for everybody for writing, for the letters. Again, I keep every single letter I get. I've actually got my file coming in. It's got a couple different files that are just letters. And so if you send me something, it gets saved, except for some of the boxes. Um, so absolutely so grateful for all the gifts. Y'all are my ego boosters because I go through a lot of times during the week and being a pastor, which is my main job, is hard. It's hard sometimes. And if you have a pastor or minister that you know, give them a good word and encourage them because you have no idea how much they sacrifice. And basically what we hear is the complaints. So give them a good word and encourage them because they can use it. Anybody that serves you, your teachers can use it as well. Um, it just be nice. Smile, encourage people, and you'll find that it'll come back to you. Thanks so much for everything that you sent. Thanks so much for watching, for liking the videos, for commenting. Thank you again. God bless all of you. I so appreciate you. Thanks so much.